Heads up, Richies. In today's episode, we're going to swear. So, Arisha, it looks like an infamous chapter from Prince Harry's life is coming back to haunt him. But to be fair, we've all done things in the past that we would really love to forget. Am I right? I mean, I've done things 10 minutes ago I'd love to forget. So, Name them. Yeah. Just kidding. Um, putting up my bun. <laughs> Everyone Juicy. run to YouTube and look at Arisha's <laughs> bun. Guys, I spent a good 10 minutes before recording putting it up. And even after we got on, I was still trying to fix it. And I hate it. I mean, listen, all the bun girlies know, you know, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Some days your hair is just like, I won't. I don't care what you say, yeah. but I will not. And I'm too weak to fight it. Yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> segue. Someone who's not too weak to fight is Harry. <laughs> Prince Harry. Um... <laughs> So in his book, Harry talks about this booze-fueled trip that he made to Vegas in 2012. We all heard about it back then. It was everywhere. Mm -hmm. And now a former dominatrix who had a front row seat to the debauchery has come forward and is now threatening to release some extremely compromising photos of Harry. Yeah, so much for what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, it goes all over the tablets. From Wondery, I'm Brooke Ziffrin. And I'm Marisha Skidmore Williams. It's Thursday, March 7th. And you're listening to Rich and Daily. I'm really excited to meet you because, in full disclosure, I'm the most ill informed person on the royal family, at least in my circle. You're the only one I ever knew. And simply because you were in those awesome nude photos in Vegas. <laughs> and I literally said to myself, this guy's a party. Yeah. He has said that many times. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. So you're look- constantly looking for other people to go sort of balance out your own behavior, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's relatable. Dax really is good. I know. I know. Yeah. He's, he's a Game Recognizes Game podcast yeah. host. So that was Prince Harry on Dax Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert, back in 2021. And they were talking about Harry's wild Vegas trip back in 2012. Now, at the time, someone leaked nude pictures of Harry partying to the tabloids and they went global. I can't believe that they were like the sun had him on the cover. Yeah. It's like, can they still do that today? Maybe over there. As our team said, he was only semi-nude because (laughs) he was covering his chunk. I feel like, yeah, they just blur. You just blur it out. I feel like we still see naked photos of people on. That seems wild to me. Like he is full. Yeah. Like stand in there. You can see his whole body. And he's obviously covering it, like you said. But that's one of those things where I was like, I have to side with him when it comes to. His family not giving a shit about him because <laughs> wow the monarchy oh, can re- oh, okay. because the monarchy like they have such control over the press I refuse to believe otherwise and them yeah. not being like don't release my child <laughs> my young adult child my pictures. sweet baby boy my sweet baby ginger the best part about it is on the cover in the article that that we used for this episode mm-hmm. today and they like put the picture up from when they first released it and it says souvenir printed edition <laughs> <laughs> it's like who has this magazine cover framed in their stu- study i know like, there's some some <laughs> older woman in cotswold who's got it on in her living room with her nice older furniture and she's like oh yes uh hey Swit. and you know like itv comes in and does an interview with her and yeah yeah but yeah other um, than that i don't know so harry actually wrote about this whole vegas thing in his book and he probably thought that was the end of it put it to bed but he was wrong because mm-hmm. that trip to vegas is making headlines all over again and that is thanks to a former dominatrix named carrie royale <laughs> eye roll and she told the son yesterday that she partied with harry his entourage and a group of strippers in a hotel suite at the win yeah so carrie says she has some nice pictures of harry in the buff from their time partying together (laughs) she also says these pictures have never been seen by the public and she said that she's never released these pictures before out of respect Mm. but i didn't realize this there's a shelf life for respect because now (laughs) she's threatening to release them for sale on her only fans uh-huh. So everyone take note. Respect does not last forever. There's also a shelf life for revenge porn. So there isn't. There is. It's a year. Remember, we talked about it. Oh, yeah. We did talk about the this. statute of limitations. So he has a year <laughs> if she doesn't, which, you know, we'll get to that. Yeah. But yeah. So, Richie's, if you're asking yourselves, why now? 
you're far from the only one. Yeah. Carrie told the son that after reading Harry's memoir, Spare, she was a little angry about being whitewashed from his book. <laughs> Which is just the nerve of her being like, like, it's the idea of like, what if I did an exchange with somebody at Subway and they were like, <laughs> she didn't mention me in her book. Everyone knows she famously went to Subway before that crazy night. Yeah. Like, why? I don't have to put you in my book if I don't want to. Well, because you're not a clout chasing little fuck. Like, she very <laughs> obviously seems to be. <laughs> I no, mean, you is... are, but not to this extent. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, I, I am. That's literally me. Um, but, Richie, so in his book, Harry does write about that Vegas trip. But in Carrie's words, wow, he missed a lot of things from that night. The book was already, what, 400 plus pages? It well, was she a long book. She should write book. a book about that night if she's so worried know, about it. Like, I what know. is he going to, why would he write so much about this night? She's. Like, off I, her think rocker. He's, I think he's making it clear that you weren't memorable to him that night. And, <laughs> and she that's is, okay. And she hates that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Carrie did tell the son that she's hoping to earn a couple of million off the pictures. <sighs> yeah. But according to a spokesperson for OnlyFans, that's going to be tricky because, hey, this is the age of consent. Yeah. If Carrie wants to share those pictures. Prince Harry has to say, you go, girl. And she, he's not going to say it. She might get a couple of million dollars in lawsuits. <laughs> Yeah, but with a negative She should have been more front. clear. Yeah. <laughs> so Carrie does say that Harry was pretty intoxicated when they partied. And that does check out because in his book, Harry says that the drinking started at breakfast with Bloody Marys and mm. then continued all day at the pool. And I love in his day drinking. Book, I know. Day drinking is fun. As it someone who doesn't so much drink, really, like. It is. Yeah. A good, like, like the brunch cruise, you know? Yeah. I got and it's like when it's sunny too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You got turnt means you had what? Half a glass of a mimosa? It doesn't matter how many I had it. What matters is the effect <laughs> it had on my body and I was turnt. Okay. Um. So in his book, Harry writes, around 2 a.m. we went back to our suite. My mates invited four or five women who worked at the hotel to join us along with two women they'd met at the blackjack tables. One of these people could have been you. I was just going to say this. You could worked have been at me. the blackjack tables. Not at the win, though. That's why my tips were such shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> Fiesta Rancho, anybody. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> um, but then after, you know, these women came to their room, they started playing pool. Mm -hmm. And Harry, in his drunken state, took it to the next level by suggesting they turn it into a game of strip billiards. Mm -hmm. It's honestly your typical. Classic scenario. Scenario, yeah. Just yeah. an escalation of, let's do this. Let's do this, but take our clothes off. Yeah. Who hasn't been there? Exactly. Um, <laughs> so this is when those naked pictures of Harry that we mentioned were snapped and leaked to the press. Yeah. And Harry in his book, he wrote about how the shame he felt afterward made it very hard for him to draw a clean breath. That is such a British thing to say. Yeah. Some of these quotes, I'm like, are we in a novel? I couldn't draw a clean breath. So eloquent. Yeah. Too eloquent, if we're being honest. Yeah. So, Richies, if you have literally nothing else <laughs> in the world to do and you're thinking about checking out Carrie's OnlyFans page, I'm sorry, but you're out of luck because it looks like it was taken down at some point yesterday. But before it was removed, Carrie was pushing her OnlyFans so hard. She's been teasing these pics of Harry on her Instagram for I don't know how long at this point. And... I got to say, this is the thing that united the globe because people were almost universally against this. You know, I love to go into comments and just yes. see. And yeah. truly, I don't think I saw a single comment that was like, let's see those pics. People were <laughs> I know. pissed. Yeah. Uh, over on Carrie's Instagram, she posted the front page of The Sun with the headline, I'll put Harry Vegas snaps on OnlyFans. And people went off in the comment section, and I love them all for it. Yeah. One person said, you must be hurting for money. Revenge porn is 100% illegal, so I hope it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Another person backed this up, saying, these photos you took were captured in the United States. Therefore, you can get a felony charge as the state considers revenge porn illegal. Hell yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. And another person wrote, hope Harry sues you for extortion, amongst other things. Yep. And they said it with a smile just like that. Yeah. yeah. So, Arisha, it looks like these alleged pics, like, she could just be making all this up, too. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't trust her. It's just pictures from the sun, and she, like, did some Photoshop and removed the blur. <laughs> yeah. She's like, they'll yeah. never know. She Photoshopped it so his arms are, like, instead of covering his junk, they're, like, up in the air, like, yeah. woo! Pick monkey strikes again. Pick monkey, Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but we're probably not going to see these photos, hopefully. No. Um, at least not on her OnlyFans. What do you... <sighs> What are your final thoughts on this? Because I already know what you think about this. It's ridiculous. Um, I think Carrie is like, I don't know how I'm going to make rent for April. I got to get more people yeah. than my OnlyFans. Having three subscribers is just not cutting it. So what can I do? She she Exploit truly is somebody. the epitome of a cloud chaser. Like I went to yeah. her Facebook because yeah. in her – she has a link tree – Mm-hmm. And, like, every post on her Facebook, at least that's public, is, like, love seeing my name in Google alerts. And this is, like, going back to 2018, <laughs> like, about Prince Harry. So she's just been riding this wave for as long as she possibly can. And now she's, like, it's not working well, so I'm going to go mm-hmm. full in. And <sighs> I do I do question, because who, who of sound mind would uh-huh. be, like, hmm, in a country where we're really just one of the few good things left in this country is the cracking down of this <laughs> yeah. kind of behavior. Yeah. Her being like, this is it. This is my ticket. I and know. against such a huge name, it'd be one thing to do some, I mean, I guess it wouldn't draw any attention, but like some normie that you ran into in Vegas and being like, hey, I'm going to put these pictures up. Still revenge porn, still fully illegal. But to yeah. like do such a hugely named person in a, from something that everybody has heard about? I think... Asinine. I think she Dumbass. knows better. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But she knows that talking about this is still yeah. getting traffic to her OnlyFans. Because people are like, yeah. oh, I wonder if she... Like, uh. Which and I'm so, so glad that it got taken down. She can go fuck me off. Me too. Because now her plan is for nothing. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I think that was the original plan. Like, oh, let me get some publicity and just threaten this. I'm not actually yeah. going to do it. So... And I just got to say, obviously, I don't... I'm not very familiar with the world of that kind of work, certainly not in Vegas. But if you're at the caliber where you're getting invited to a party with Prince Harry, mm-hmm. ride that. Ride what do that you mean? wave. Like, I feel like you like probably can get parties. good clients because this is what mm. she does. Like, ride that wave. Ride that. I mean, granted, you know, this was 2012, but still. She should have, like, branded herself dominatrix to the ro- to royalty. Yes. You know, like I'm sure she would make a ton of money. Yeah, absolutely. Those but are now sick fucks as we know. Yeah. <laughs> Over yeah. on even the Royals wherever you get your podcasts. Yep. From Wondery. <laughs> I'm Brooke Sifrin. <laughs> and I'm Arisha Skidmar Williams. This is Rich and Daily. See you tomorrow, Richies. If you like our show, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening right now. Be sure to follow us on all socials at Arisha Skidmar Williams and at Brooke Sifrin. We love to connect with you. 